Welcome everybody to this week's Heart to Heart. I'm Sally Brown and I will be your host. I want to say a special thanks to Dr. Day for filling in for me last week. Got a very unique show coming up today. We're going to have one guest, Keegan Kidd, who owns a local art studio. And he's going to show us how to do some very unique painting and I'm going to get to participate. Before we get started, I want to thank all of our sponsors, Baptist Bookstore, Millway Federal Credit Union, Ducks Memorial Hospice, Lone Star Truck Group. Sit back, relax, get ready for a fun time. We'll get started after we hear from one of our sponsors. Slim Chickens, we're known for our hand-breaded chicken tenders, but did you know we have the best chicken sandwiches too? Introducing the new Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich. Buttermilk marinated and lightly hand-breaded, then shaken in our house buffalo sauce, and served with creamy ranch, fried onions, lettuce, and pickles, all on a toasted bun. Get Slim's tender and wing platters for your game day party. Order online and score big. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. I love it. That's the response you'll receive when giving a personalized gift from the Baptist Bookstore. Create a personal gift in minutes using the My Media Burn Bar and Artsy Olive personalized art signs. Let the friendly staff guide you through the easy process of creating a gift that will be cherished for a lifetime. The Baptist Bookstore also has the largest selection of Bibles in the Arklatex. Purchase a Bible and we'll personalize it with free engraving. The Baptist Bookstore, 4605 North State Line Avenue in Texas. Arcana. Lone Star Truck Group is now hiring service technicians. We also have career opportunities in every department. With 23 locations across the South, work where you want. The best product lines in state-of-the-art facilities. Work with the best employees, receiving great benefits, competitive wages, and a safe, clean work environment. Receive ongoing product training for continuous career development. Contact Lone Star Truck Group today and recruit it at LoneStarTruckGroup.com. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House Lender. At Dirksen Memorial Hospice, we focus on the care of our patients, not the cure. We dedicate ourselves to this service because our family has been there. So think of it like our family helping your family with 24 hour, seven day a week access to quality care and emotional support for loved ones. Dirksen Memorial Hospice. It's hospice with a heart. Welcome back, everybody. I am so excited today. We have a very interesting guest with us who's a local artist, but we're also going to be uh, doing a demonstration for the second half of the show, so it's something new and different. I'd like to introduce to you, first of all, Mr. Keegan Kidd. Okay, that's a catchy little name. We've got KK going on there. It's nice, yeah, it's Irish. So, <laughs> welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Okay, now you are a, uh, you have a, a studio called Primal Flow Studio here in Texarkana, yes, and tell us where it's located. It is at 614 East 7th Street, the old Tate Village building, okay. right across from McDonald's on the corner of Pecan. Okay. We share it with Caveman Consignments, so if you find them, you can find us. Caveman Consignments mm -hmm. and Primal Flow Studios, those go well together. Yeah, so, they do. Well, now tell us, how did you get into this, Keegan? Well, it's a long story. I have an art degree from SAU with honors and all that good stuff. Didn't get into grad school and kind of gave up on the art thing. Mm -hmm. Went out, did the adult thing, got a good job, a little rent to own home, all that good stuff. And uh, I got sick. I have lupus and arthritis. Oh, and sorry. spent about four months bedridden, lost my home, lost my job, my insurance. Mm. Moved back in with my mother, who luckily is the most wonderful, supportive person ever. 
And um, I was in a lot of pain. I was barely mobile. Saw this on Instagram and went, oh, acrylic pouring, what in the world? I've never done abstract art in my life, but it looks cool. And um, researched a little bit, bought $6 worth of medium and decided to try it. Hobbled out to the shed in the backyard where I can make a mess. And uh, spent like five minutes the first day just trying to figure it out. And then 10 minutes the next day and then 15 minutes the next day. And before I knew it, I was having entire days where I felt good and I could walk and I didn't hurt that much. And within a couple of weeks, I was having people wanting me to teach them how to do it. And within a couple of months, I was better and I had a business that just kind of wow. came from all that pain, which is unexpected, but kind of wonderful. Okay. Do you think that it just helped you get your mind off of it or do you think it actually physiologically helped your pain? I think it was very mental. Um, when uh -huh. you deal with autoimmune diseases and things uh -huh. that cause a lot of pain, it brings on a lot of depression, which can actually worsen your symptoms. The depression will make you hurt as much as the uh -huh. actual disease will. And I think I had kind of given up. I was 30 and I felt like I was 80. And at that point, I didn't know if I was dying. I had no medical care. And I really didn't know what my life had for me in, in the future. And I think it brought me out of that. It gave me some, some focus and something to, to think about that I could have a future with. Yeah, yeah. Well, with your perseverance and all, you started a company. I did. And it is called this Primal Flow Studio. Yes, ma'am. And tell us a little bit about it. I know you've brought some samples <laughs> and you also sell the pre-mixed paint, right? I do. That's what it started with. I was teaching classes. I have these little, several bottles of these. That's um, green. That's spring green. I know green. my colors, and that's yellow. Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. And you can look at those if you want to. Um, what they are is the world's first premixed ready to pour paints. Um, world's first. The pre world's first. 16 months ago, there was no premixed paint on the market. I beat Joanne and Michaels to the market by about three weeks. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Um, but what I found was my students were really, really intimidated by mixing it because you have to have a pigment dense base, mm -hmm. you have to have a medium. In our case, we have a secret ingredient that makes some nice ribbons and cells and things. Mm -hmm. um, mixing is the hardest part. You get the wrong consistency, it doesn't work. You get the wrong pigment density, it doesn't work. You get the wrong medium, it doesn't exactly. work. Yeah. And half the people that try to mix their own paint give up after the first try because they hate it, they can't and figure it out. And it doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> so I decided to, to make a nice professional paint that people would love, but it also was kind of a blessing because uh -huh. I had no income at that point, I was sick. Uh -huh. So I started making and bottling paints and the little bit of profit I made meant that I could keep some of the paint and work for myself uh -huh. and build my own art career at the same time that I was building the paint right. business. Okay, so I understand you give lessons now? I do, I teach several days a week. I do acrylic pouring, resin art, we have a DIY night that's kind of a Pinteresty project type uh -huh. thing. Um, I teach kids classes, I do charity classes to benefit different places. I've got a domestic violence exposure class in October. Um, some examples would be like uh, that's from an intermediate class, Acrylic Pouring 2. And now what's that called? You said that's called? It's uh, called a tree ring pour. It's my personal favorite technique. A these tree are, ring pour. Yeah, these are both student works from a beginner's class. One is a child's work of six. And now how do they get those little? Those are called cells and lacing. That's the special effects that my paint give that are very desirable but hard to achieve. And my paints do them naturally with a secret ingredient, which is uh, most people have to add oils but oils are hard to clean off the surface without mm -hmm. ruining the paint. My paints do it without oils. And you're not gonna tell us the secret ingredient. Oh, no. How did you find the secret ingredient? Lots and lots of practice. Um, I, I tell people it's pretty funny. It's a lot of chemistry involved. I failed chemistry in high school and I failed painting in college. And somehow <laughs> I'm a chemist that creates products and paints for a living. I don't know how that happened exactly. Now, how long does it take these to dry? About three days. And for students, what we do is we throw that little gloss coat on there and seal them and students pick them up about a week later, wow. lost and ready to go. How pretty, okay. All right, now I understand too that you said you were on Shark Tank, or were gonna be on Shark Tank. We almost made season 11, it was pretty close. Um, we had to send in the videos and paperwork and talk to producers and uh, they really liked us, but they said because it's such a niche market that we kinda needed to prove ourselves uh -huh. and to please try again next year, they were interested to see where okay, we now were. Now how long have you been doing this? Have you had the paint at all? The paint's been on the market about 16 months. Okay. I've only been painting less than two years. I started uh -huh. in October two years ago. Okay. About right. when I got sick. Oh, wow. Okay, what's, uh, you got there? Resin art is the other thing I teach. It's resin art? Resin, resin epoxy, it's a okay. two-part epoxy. Uh -huh. um, this is different things. This is student work Ooh, from a resin pretty. one class. We had a beach themed class where they could put in the 3D elements. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Look this, everybody. <laughs> this is a piece I just made Sunday in a resin class 
we had a themed class amethyst. Ooh, and what's pretty. nice is the business has grown from paint to all fluid art supplies. So I sell the resin, I sell the pigments, I sell the glass, I sell alcohol inks and molds. Anything that falls into fluid art, we now are a one-stop shop with over 400 items in inventory. Do you sell like the canvases? We don't. Anything, Anything okay. like that okay. that you could get very easily at Michael's. Yeah. We sell the specialty stuff that you kind of have to shop from 10 different places all in one spot. Okay. Right. So. That's pretty. That tray. Uh, now, a student did this? I did that as a demo during class to show them some advanced techniques. Advanced. What makes this advanced? Um, it actually requires torching with a culinary torch and flame, but you only have 15 minutes to work resin. So if I over torch it, it'll literally catch on fire and ruin the surface. So learning how to torch it correctly multiple times is actually a very difficult technique that a lot of people struggle with, so I usually demonstrate it. Can I touch it? Yeah, absolutely. And what's great is the epoxy I use is food safe. So people have me do a lot of trays and platters on commission because they can wash them. They can serve I'm food on them. I'm thinking your secret ingredient is some kind of food. <laughs> I trying to figure that out. That is beautiful. Oh, my shipping manager says I live on caffeine. That might be it. That could be. <laughs> So this is another type of resin art that I'm developing that not a lot of people do. It has the three-dimensional effect, but it's perfectly smooth, and it's perfect for outdoor work and furniture. Um, I developed this uh, for a, a very large hotel chain that wanted to know if I could do the crystalline work with the 3D elements, but smooth for furniture uh -huh. for a remodel. Uh -huh. And uh, this is one of my demonstrative pieces for them that I can, in fact, pull it off beautifully. Oh, so, well, that is gorgeous. Now, what would you use? That is that just a, a piece for demonstration? Yeah, this, or is, this is purely a, a, a proof of concept. Okay. Um, okay. I just got a commission for a four-foot one of these for somebody's back patio. They love the style, but they wanted something easy to clean. It yeah. doesn't have the crystals. Okay, how much would a four-foot one of those for a patio or somewhere cost? Uh, theirs cost $800. It runs about $75 a square foot. Okay. And that's purely because resin is very expensive to work in. It, uh -huh. it starts at $60 a gallon. Okay. And this piece alone took over half a gallon. So you can imagine how much I go through on oh, a four yeah. foot piece. Yeah. Um, it's it's very expensive medium, but it's one of the most challenging and beautiful in the world. Mm. It's beautiful, it really is. Oh, there's also cast pieces. Now that looks like it would weigh a lot, doesn't it? Like but a it rock. Doesn't. Yeah, it looks like a paperweight. Yeah. But it weighs it's, weighs next to nothing. What's Ca this made out of? That's resin too. But okay. it's in it's in a silicone mold. Okay. Do a lot of cast pieces, coasters, paperweights. And the last thing I do with resin that I thought you might like the most is I'll have a gift for you. I also do custom tumblers. Oh, how pretty. Which, there's a lot of different ways to do tumblers, but in my opinion, it resin art is beautiful. Mama Bear. How pretty. And can it be, can you drink out of it? Absolutely. That is beautiful. Yeah. Mom, we have several of them and my mother puts them through the dishwasher. Technically, you're not supposed to, but. She does it. Never had a problem with it. Yeah. Is this for me? It is for you. Thank you You're so much. Welcome. Oh, I love presents, and that is that is so special. Thank you. Well, now I understand that you're also, other than me getting a gift, I'm going to get <laughs> to do a, a pour mm -hmm. painting. Yep, we've got it all set up so you can actually do your first acrylic pour. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are Let's you go. sure? I'm so ready. Okay. All right. You got a challenge ahead of you. All okay. right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. At Dirksen Memorial Hospice, we focus on the care of our patients, not the cure. We dedicate ourselves to this service because our family has been there. So think of it like our family helping your family with 24 hour, seven day a week access to quality care and emotional support for loved ones. Dirksen Memorial Hospice, it's hospice with a heart. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House Lender. Lone Star Truck Group is now hiring service technicians. We also have career opportunities in every department. With 23 locations across the South, work where you want. 
the best product lines in state-of-the-art facilities, work with the best employees, receiving great benefits, competitive wages, and a safe, clean work environment. Receive ongoing product training for continuous career development. Contact Lone Star Truck Group today and recruit it at LoneStarTruckGroup.com. I love it. That's the response you'll receive when giving a personalized gift from the Baptist Bookstore. Create a personal gift in minutes using the My Media Burn Bar and Artsy Olive personalized art signs. Let the friendly staff guide you through the easy process of creating a gift that will be cherished for a lifetime. The Baptist Bookstore also has the largest selection of Bibles in the Arklatex. Purchase a Bible and we'll personalize it with free engraving. The Baptist Bookstore, 4605 North State Line Avenue in Texas. At Slim Chickens, we're known for our hand-breaded chicken tenders. But did you know we have the best chicken sandwiches too? Introducing the new Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich. Buttermilk marinated and lightly hand-breaded, then shaken in our house buffalo sauce, and served with creamy ranch, fried onions, lettuce, and pickles, all on a toasted bun. Get Slim's tender and wing platters for your game day party. Order online and score big. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. Not surgery, but art. I'm getting ready to do an art piece with Keegan Kidd. He's going to show me how to do it. So I am so excited. I never get to do anything like this. What are we going to do? We are going to do acrylic pouring. We're going to do a quick flip cup, and then we're going to do a ribbon pour. A flip cup and a ribbon pour. Yeah. Now, okay. if we were in a class, I would show you all the science and the techniques and all the good stuff. Uh -huh. On this one, we're just going to do one real quick together, and you just follow my lead with it. Okay, because right? we don't have a lot of time. Don't have a lot of time. Okay. So okay. first thing we're going to do is I want you to pick two of these colors over here in this little pile of primal floor okay. paints. Okay, okay. I want this one. Ink and gold, beautiful gold. choice. And uh, I like this. Teal, intense teal, nice. Yeah. Now I'm gonna pick two colors. I think we should have some glam red because it's beautiful. And uh, you know, I'm feeling some Southwest colors. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Sound good? I like Southwest. All right, so what we're gonna do is give the bottles a quick shake. Shake. Do I need to do anything? You can shake those two if you want to. Or shake it. Yep, you just want to shake them real quick because they have BDM in them and you just want to reconstitute them if they've got a little shake, shake, shake. All right, okay. that ought to be good. We'll just take the lids off real quick. Now, what I want you to do is you're gonna start with wh whichever color you like the most. For me, it's glam. Okay. You just tilt your cup a little bit, and I just want you to pour just a little bit like that. Okay. Just right down the inside of the cup. Okay. Perfect. Is that good? Yep. I want that color next. Okay. And you pick a different color, whichever one you want. Okay. And what you do is you put it right down the same spot. We want them to layer up like layers on a cake so the colors don't mix in the cup. They just stay nice on top of each other. Okay. And you just keep going until I tell you to stop. You're going to have about a half cup worth. You're going to stop about there. Well, I don't think I'm anywhere near there. <laughs> what if I spill one? That's what they're here for. To spill? <laughs> yeah. Pour. Very, very artistically spill it. Yes. Oh my. Okay. I don't have a, I don't have any blue showing. Well, put a little more teal on it. Just a little more teal for your last layer. All right, now here's the part that makes everybody nervous, but I just want you to trust me, okay? Okay. Hold your cup in your left hand like that and kind of wrap your fingers around it, but don't squeeze the cup. Okay. Take this, put it on top, put hands on both sides, and just like a turkey sandwich, you're not trying to crush the bread. You're just enough force to flip it. And then lay it down. There you go. Don't squeeze your cup. Perfect. It went in the center. It's all right. I can make it back to the center. Okay. Now what this is doing, the paints pull, pull into the bottom, mm -hmm. and it's do it as magic. So you got a little bit of magic going on here, and your cup's trying to slide already. All right. So we, we can actually see the paint from the side. Uh huh. All right. So now here's the fun part. I'm gonna do mine first. Okay. So I can show you what to do with it after you pick it up. Okay. And then we're gonna do yours. All right. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm ready. All right. Gently squeeze. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Oh, how pretty. And then, see, I'm just kind of slowly rotating it from one side to the other. You have to get enough paint off because it'll actually crack as it dries if you leave too much on there. So you just. That looks like a spoon. <laughs> and see all the little cells and lacing? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Uh huh. This is the most basic technique there is, but it's one of my favorites. Well, I'm pretty basic, so it's right up my alley. 
and then when you think it's good, you just stop. How pretty! This is really a lot of fun with kids too. They don't have to have a lot of dexterity like they do with brushes. Right. So it's a good way for them to express themselves. Yeah. Pop the air bubbles and then you just set it to the side and it starts drying. It takes about three days. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, now what do I do? I'm gonna put it in your left hand for you. Left hand, okay. You're gonna keep it right over this grate. Okay. And then what you're gonna do on that cup is very gently squeeze. And here's the most important part, you ready? Uh -huh. Don't freak out. Because you're gonna wanna freak out. All that paint, the vacuum is holding it in. It's gonna come out real fast. Okay, Don't so I panic. squeeze. Squeeze. And lift. Barely, just, just a little bit. Just enough for the paint to escape. You gotta squeeze that cup, squeeze it. There you go, you gotta <gasps> break the vacuum. Don't panic. And then just set the cup to the side, just real gentle. Look at that. And all that gold's gonna dry all pretty and metallic. It's gonna be so good. All right, now get both hands under it. And I just want you to gently rotate it. You got big cells opening up too. I don't have much red. Well, that's all right. Sometimes the colors get a little lost. Depends on how thickly you layer it in the cup. And that all comes with practice and technique. Now you gotta tilt it hard enough and long enough the paint has time to get over the sides. There you go. You need some of the paint to escape so the rest will dry properly. And we get your hands under it. You got all the paint going into your hand there. <laughs> there you go. Kind of like fingertips. There you go. Look how pretty that is. Oh, yeah. Your red's starting to show out underneath. It's because the paint's actually on there in layers. So sometimes stretching it out actually releases those colors that are hiding. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> it is beautiful. Very nice colors. Oh, wow. Okay, did I get to blow on some bubbles? Yep. Just get Where a lot. Just, just. Woof on it and see if there's anything opens up. Yeah, you got some little Dalmatian spots in there. That looks good. Okay. All right, perfect. Yours is prettier than mine. Well, I've only done it 6,000 times. Oh. Trust me, you come to a class, I'll make sure you make one you really like. Okay, well, mine's pretty, but no, yours is, is prettier. Really pretty. How come you got all those little spots in yours? Those cells? It's, it's all layering and tilting technique. Practice. Well, practice makes perfect, don't okay, you? Okay, I need a. Yep, you just get one of those I right there. I can't. It's oh, coming through you. I guess you can. There you go. Thank you. Just kind of keep it over there and just kind of rub it out there. And just like that. And what's good is that paint will just dry real quick and you just go on with your day. <laughs> All right. Now you ready for a hard one? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want to use the same colors? Or you want to try some different colors? I got some very pretty ones there. What do I do with that? I'm just going to put it right here. Uh, I won't. Uh, I can't touch them. No, you can't. Just tell me which ones you want. Okay. I want green. I want the green. Okay. And I want uh, the pink. I want the pink, all right. And I want the uh, pale blue. The pale blue, all right. The pale blue. You want the gold with it? Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Nice little pastel palette there. All right, let me set these. Now, how much away. are these bottles? Uh, if you buy them online, they're $8.99. If you buy them in the studio, they're $6. Okay, well, and yeah. they do come in a pack, right? Where you get yeah. all these colors in one pack? Well, we have them all individually in the studio, uh -huh. but we sell a starter kit, uh -huh. which is perfect for everybody, even kids. It comes with six colors, medium, celtastic, wood pieces to paint on, uh -huh. everything you could possibly need for 30. Okay, all right, good deal. All right, so we got our gold already. Now, here's what I want you to do while I'm getting these ready. It's really difficult. I don't know if you can handle it. I want you to take your hand and just smoosh that around so the canvas is covered with it. That's called wet priming. It reduces the friction so the paint can go farther and smoother. Okay. And make sure you get your sides too. <laughs> My favorite thing about the classes are the people that get dragged along and don't know what they're in for. And then they <laughs> immediately, one project in, go, oh my gosh, when's your next class? I want to yeah, do this really, again. Yeah, really, really. All right, you ready? Do I need to wipe this off? No, you don't have to worry about it too much. You can okay. wipe it off a little bit. It's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. So same thing as last time. I want you to layer your cup up. You're going to have your four colors here that you picked out. Mm -hmm. The difference here is I want you to try to put a little bit thinner layers. Okay. But I want you to work fast and just do a whole bunch of layers so that cup is nearly full. You're going to go all the way up to that line. Remember to tilt your cup a little bit. There you go. You want the paint to slide down the inside of the cup. As you can imagine, these classes are great for groups. They're great for parties. We do a lot of birthdays. Kind of like painting with a twist. Kind of, but in painting with a twist, you're sitting in one place and yeah. you're getting okay, told what to do. Okay, just keep doing this? Yep, just keep going. The difference with this is you're up moving the whole time. And the pieces tend to change as they sit there and dry, which is kind of cool. People usually end up talking and chit-chatting a lot and getting to know each other. It's, it's energetic. It's a lot of fun.
Can I go, where do, how far up do I go? Yep, all the way up to that line up there. Oh my goodness. I know, you need a full cup of paint for this one. Does it matter what order I do them in? Nope. And you can change the order up as you go. Well, I think I am. In a class, you'll learn more about layering and contrast and all that good stuff. But for now, we're Why just... Why are you saying I don't know that? I'm saying you, you would want to learn that to, to gain some technique. Okay. This so I don't just have technique, right? Well, this one's just for fun. Junior, did you hear that? I don't have technique. <laughs> Not yet. Come to a class. I'll teach you all that. Okay. This is just super basics. Okay. Is that good? A little more. A little more. Yeah, get a little more blue in there. How's that? Perfect. All right, now I'm going to do the first part. Okay. And I want you to watch me, and then you're going to do the second part. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to turn it this way. Okay. And you see where the lines meet? Uh-huh. You're just going to pour ribbons back and forth. And you're just going to keep going across the whole canvas. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Nice, even ribbons. Try to cover all that white space if you can. Just come back over it. Perfect. Yep, just like that. Yep. Yeah, try to get that edge there. Looks good. And just back and forth till you run out of paint. How fun! <laughs> oh, this isn't even the fun part. Hey, I might be another Van Gogh. You might be. You never know. Or not. Might be another Picasso. We did a big resin piece for the party with Picasso this year. Oh, really? It's called Champagne Bling. It was beautiful. Six feet or five feet. All right, you done. Okay. All right. I'm going to tilt it for you. You ready? Okay. Here's the fun part. Okay. Don't lose the magic. What happens is paint slides off. Oh, my goodness. All those ribbons stretch out. Look how pretty it is. And then the trick is just to get enough paint off the canvas that the canvas dries correctly, but uh -huh. also that you like your design. Wow. Keegan, this has been so much fun. And if anybody would want to sign up for one of your classes. Find us on Facebook, Primal Flow Studio Texarkana. All our classes are under events. We have open studio days. People can just come in and paint and play on a Saturday. Uh -huh. We have lots and lots of stuff on the schedule. Okay, well, thank you so much. There's like your I piece. say, I may, I may be down there to, to take some lessons sometime. I hope so. Thanks again. You're very welcome. That's all we have for this week's show. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.